I'm Sandy with Sandy's uh, Vintage Home Decor and Treasures and I have recently changed my name to Sandy's Closet Reselling and Treasures and I did that because I didn't want people to think it was all home decor and I was I I only have 39 people I've had that for months and I was just wondering if they thought it was all home decor and I so I wanted to change it to try to draw more people into my um, my channel to know that I'm not just re reselling home or wood pieces that it is um, also cl my closet that I have on eBay um, so and I will leave when I get done here I will leave my um, description in the description box below I will leave my eBay store link so that you can if you see anything you like you can go over there and get it I want to um, really thank everybody for tuning in and watching my video. If you have already subscribed, thank you for coming back and putting up with me. And if you haven't subscribed, you might think of, of subscribing because we do a lot of um, different things on here. We sell jewelry and, and clothes and I go to garage sales. I haven't done a, um, a garage sale going along uh, like a ride along just because it is I don't have any I mean I only my phone and I don't get along very well I hit the wrong button so last time I really screwed it up I, my finger was over the lens and everything so I have not done it yet I'm hoping to get a new phone or a new camera so I can go and take you all along when I'm doing my shopping so anyway um, I want to thank everybody for coming in be sure to like my video and leave a comment below and tell me what you like uh what piece you like as well as um if you haven't subscribed to my my channel please think of doing so it will help my channel out to grow i'm trying to at least i i'm trying to get to the hundred i don't want to take it's baby steps so a hundred is my goal right now so i'm planning to have a giveaway um when i do hit a hundred with people commenting so um, you might think of that so we can see what everybody will do. Okay, well, let me get on with it. I came to a garage sale this afternoon when my husband got off work. Um, it's a person I go to frequently to got, get my furniture, and he usually has a garage sale. He does um, storage sheds that's been, or storage units that have been uh, abandoned. He gets those, and then he lets me know that he's got stuff, and this time he didn't, and I really got on to him. But this is just a really cute, it's from the old Japan. There's the label right there. Um, just really cute. I only paid a dollar for it, but I just thought it was cute. And then I got, where's the other one? Here. Oh, here, a little Scotty dog that's also from the old Japan that was a dollar, as well as this ship. This is from Old Japan as well. There's the mark up here, if you can see it. There you go. And I just thought this was beautiful. I love nautical stuff. That's what my house is done in. And so I um, just fell in love with this. And then I also got a Limoges piece. I did pay up for it, but I think it was worth it. Um, it is from Limoges, France. And there's the label on it. And it is a cheese keeper or i guess you could do a cake keeper but it does have two holes on the top up there under the handle for air to circulate here is the front the side or front i don't know and then it has the smaller flowers in the back and right here and here is the top just really pr pretty i know i can get more than ten dollars out of it but i i just knew that it was a pretty good piece so I decided to get it I've also had this but I actually lost it for a while and but it is an old bottle of Philips Milka Mag and it is such I mean it's in the original it's still got crusty old Milka Mag in it but just an old bottle it has still has the paper that it used to come on I don't know the date but I need to research it but I thought that was really neat um Okay, so I went to a few garage sales today, and I hit one that had a lot of plus-size uh, clothes in it. 
and I know that a lot of plus uh, size needs they go for really good money because no there isn't any if you get myth uh, mystery boxes from thread up or some of the other places they're a lot of times very small and it's really hard for people to find plus size so i found this one she wanted 50 cents for everything that was at the garage sale I mean, it was so funny because everything was 50 cents 50 cents so i got all of these for 50 cents so this is a swimsuit it has the, like a little dress on it and I don't even know if these have, you know, really been worn. It has the un, the panties to it. It has a built-in bra, padded bra in it. And um, it's from Figure Magic. And it is a 28W. But, you know, I don't see that often of having the large size in, you know, in closets because it's hard to come by. I was very excited when I found this garage sale. Here is another one that I found. This one is um, Swim 365 and it's a 20W. And this is really cute. It has the, once again the little dress like to, to go over and then you've got your bathing suit underneath. And just to 50 cents, yeah, I can, I can pay 50 cents for that. It has the adjustable straps in the front or the back so i thought that was just really pretty then i got another bathing suit here and it has another dress to it with the underneath bathing suit has a built-in um, pads padding and this one is uh Aquabelle, and it is a size, uh, um, I don't see it right off the bat, but that doesn't mean anything. I know I've seen it. It's like the same sizes that the others were, like a 20, 20 W. Okay, so here are some of the shirts that I got. Oh, here's another bathing suit. This one is also has the built-in padding, has the dress with the underneath suit, bathing suit to go under it, a built-in. And this one here is um, Azul, A-Z-U-L-E, that's what it looks like. And it is a 20W. And just really pretty, pretty, pretty. I don't know if she's even she even wore these just because of the way they look. Um, there was one of them that had some, I'm going to have to do some peeling on the bra area. And I think that that was probably the one she wore the most. But anyway, there are those. And now I've got shirts. And these were all 50 cents each. And I was just like, yes, please real pretty it has the um little prints all over it and it's it's a see-through you can so you'd you'd probably want to you could wear like a um camisole under it this is by Mar maggie barnes the size 22w i don't know these brands i just know that they were that very well made they have like little sparkle things on the front of them just to dress them up just really pretty um the sleeves have like this ruffle edging on it just i thought these were so pretty and then here is another one i thought was beautiful and i i don't know the large sizes but i do know that they were either boutiques or things that she had ordered online because um, in here in Joplin, we don't have anything like this. This is a personal touch. There is that. And it is a button up shirt with beautiful red roses. And it, gorgeous, gorgeous. And 
this is, I don't see the, see the, um, if I judge everything from what I picked up, she did do uh, four, 3X and 4X is the most of them in here. So I would say, I'd have to measure, I'll put the measurements in, but I'd say that's probably one of those sizes. This, I love the color of, look at this. It's just beautiful color, kind of like a tie-dye. Look at the back, kind of a tie-dye effect. And then here's the front. It has all kinds of embroidery on it. It has some sequins that are sparkles. Just beautiful. It has the short sleeves. I thought this was so pretty. And it kind of goes down like a banana, banana, good Lord, a bandana style, just pointed on the end. I think that's called a shark bite. This is from Catherine's, and this is what I'm saying. This is a boutique, but I, it's not here in Joplin. Uh, but Catherine's makes large size, because I do see this frequently for larger size clothes. So it's a Catherine's, and it is a size 4X. And I thought this was absolutely beautiful. I love that color. And here is another one like it. And it is in a beautiful purple, except it's a little bit different. It has the tie-dye in it, like the tie-dye, see the purple tie-dye? And here's the front of it. But it also has like this little um, jacket built-in jacket that goes over it like a, a caftan maybe um but it's open open on the sides there and that's like a, a little camisole under it just really pretty and it's it has i love the purple tie-dye and the blue tie-dye i just think that's so pretty okay we have this one here i've got two of these this is from main street blues and it's a 4x and it's um this really pretty green. It's almost like an aviary green. Button down the front. I thought it was linen, but it's actually cotton. So I thought for sure when I felt it, it was linen. But it has that linen feel to it, but it is 100% cotton. And then, of course, I got this one, and I love this color as well. And this is my favorite color. So I just turquoise and aqua colors. But this one here is also a 4X. And there's the main, whoop, almost fell on my chair. Now that would be a laugh. Okay, so there's the Main Street Blues. I got this one. I did not get this one, and then I went back. I kept going down the, the row. Then I went back and got it because it is like a zebra print. And everybody likes animal prints. So I did go ahead and pick this one up. Button down the front, it has the little tab sleeve that that makes it short. And um, this is really pretty too. And it is the Essentials of 4X. And here is this Essentials. And like I said, guys, I got these for 50 cents each. They're all clean. I didn't find anything of hers that had any kind of spots on it. I mean, I looked and there were no kind of spots. I mean, she was immaculate. This is the color that uh, is kind of the mustard color. They're very popular this year. And of course, everybody has to be popular. So, you know, it has a three quarter length sleeves in it. It looks like it's in, it has a little sewn in dicky. And then the lace here, kind of the the uh, crocheted look and it is um this is Catherine's and it's a 3x just really pretty and then miracle Shh. miracles in the house and the other two are out and i thought i'd go ahead and get the video done but this here is a shirt it's kind of a purple color blue purple and my husband's coming in the door, so she has to bark at him. He has a hat on, so she barks at people with hats. Anyway, this has little, little um, like, nail heads attached to the shirt. And here's the back. 
So that I thought that was really pretty too. And it's also by the Catherines. And this is actually a 5X. And then this one here I thought was so pretty. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It just has the kind of a boho vibe with the the border of like this. It also has the nail head that are attached. The back of it and the sleeves are black like this. So this is also a 5X. And then I have, I like this one too because it's also boho. And everybody needs boho in their lives. Look at this. Isn't it pretty? It has kind of a blending of colors up to the top. It has the attached little jewels to it. It has the short sleeve, three quarter length, depending um, the back of it. And this is a 4X. And it's from Catherine's as well. I think, yeah, Catherine's. I love that. I love the the way those blend in together. Okay, then we have what we're doing good on time. We have a little kind of a mock sweatshirt. It's more of a here's the back, the inside of it. It's kind of a terry cloth like um, that hat, but it looks like it's uh, fleece. But it has the longer sleeves. Um, this is from Woman Within, and it's a 4X. There's the Woman Within brand. If you can see that. Just really pretty. I think her favorite colors might have been purple and the aqua color because there was quite a few that <clears throat> in that group that what I bought. This is real pretty. Look at this. This is, has butterflies all over it. And it has to the back. And I'll, I'll have to steam this down. But this has like the tatting lace to it. If anybody knows how to tat, you're better than me. That's one thing I don't know how to do. Do not even want to know how to do. because My grandmother did it, but my mom said... It was extremely time-consuming. I don't have that kind of time. I don't crochet either. This is the woman within, and you it's a 2X. You oh, I crochet. I do not knit, and I do not tap. Um, here is the next one. It's a white, and this is what I'm saying. You know, I looked this over because it's, like, white. But, no, there's nothing on there. But it has, like, the little um, applique. Nope, these are embroidered flowers down the front. They're done in kind of a, a red color and a peach color. And then it has a little tassel tassel tie at the at the front. Here is another one that I looked over because it's white. Beautiful flowers on it. And this is the woman within a 1X. And then this one here is the last of the blouses. It's a woman within and it is a 3X. Yeah, 3X. I think, no, it can't be. I think it might have been a 2X. Yeah, I think it's a 2X. It's that turquoise color. It has the little eyelet insets here. I don't know. Can you see that good? Here's the eyelets and the little button halfway down. Anyway, those are my um, thrift or my garage sale large size. I also got this big bag that I told you about um, of uh, sewing stuff for 50 cents. And I mean, I haven't went even through it. I just kind of dumped it in my Ikea bag. I couldn't get a box in my Jeep. So, but she, she sent some, there was this lace in there. And then just all kinds of little bits and pieces. Some, some, uh, fabric that are stripes and, or stars and 
squares. Um, she also has this lace. And you cannot find this lace any longer. You know, especially by the yard. You, they don't sell it by the yard. You just have to buy it in packs. Unless you go to Joann's, which that's where I go. And they, she just has all kinds of little pieces of lace in it. Which, you know, comes in really handy. Because, you know, you just don't ever know what you need or anything. This one here is, has the little strawberries on it. These will be good when I do my purses, my jean purses. I'm going to do those when I'm off of work with my knee surgery. I'm going to do that. And those will look really good for the lining of my purses. Um, she, let's see, what else is in here? Oh, here's, here's the white with strawberries on it. Um, just... This is just fabric. Um, she got, oh, this is nice. This is um, the iron-on when you need a thicker fleece-like. A lot of times you do this for uh, pot holders or oven mitts or things like this. And I got a bag of buttons. Do you guys know how much buttons are? They are so expensive. And she had a bag of buttons in there. That I could not even, you know, I mean, I don't know how much this would cost normally, but these but buttons are so expensive anymore. But she just has some really pretty ones in there. There's just a few of them. That, oh, she even has the mates clipped together of the lookalikes, which is really nice. Just, you know. All kinds of little little buttons that you can use for anything. Here's some little pink ones with, I don't know, that's, yeah, there you go. But, yeah. So, I would have paid 50 cents just for this bag. Because, you know, the as much as buttons are, um, I'm trying to find a place. I don't know what this is. It's a, some kind of pansy pattern. I'll have to look at that and see. Um, it looks like it's like a quilting something, but anyway, I will look at that. Then she had this whole thing, and I, I'll, I'll let you look at this. I mean, um, well, before I put these back in there, because they fall, fell out, this here has um, so many things in it that, oh, we have bells. But it has a rotary for when you make quilts. It has these little, these are Fiskars. And it has the little cutting little clips, Fiskars in there. There's two of them. And Fiskars is expensive anyway. Um, then she just has like needles and thimbles. You know, it's just things that you really need. Snaps and things, but bunch of these old scissors metal scissors were in here and I know that those are so old she also had a here's a little screwdriver this is a Fiskars rotary which those are at least $20 $25 so I always use a coupon when I buy anything like that but, oh here they are there's all kinds of scissors in here that like this and I'm going to have to look and see what kind of scissors they are because there's some scissors that sell for a lot of money, but I don't think anything like this. Those are definitely vintage, though. If somebody had a sewing room and wanted, like, vintage little things going all, all around it, the room, that would be the place to go. Um, you hear me? Huh? This was like when I was back in school. Yeah. And they've got... You know, I'll just have to look and see. She even can put in a screwdriver. And here's another one. These have had the black handles. And so I thought this was, uh, there was bobbins in here. They're dumped out now, but there's bobbin. Bobbins are expensive to buy. There's thread in here. Elastic. I was so excited when I found this. Here's another 
little screwdriver and thread bobbins and then she had just more snippets of lace that you can put on different things oh look at this somebody had started a quilt that's pretty very pretty I love those colors but I only have two but you know what this would make is pillows that would make a pretty pillow beautiful um, here's some red gingham that I could put in my purses and then this is oh this is pretty this is like has can you see this it's stitched to make this textured that's nice I might even find that for a purse um, let's see what's in this bag more ribbon or more lace a lot more lace and you know you can use lace for to decorate anything I was just really glad I mean even the 50 cents you couldn't go wrong on this because he said felt it's felt a piece of flannel or a piece of lace the by the yard now is horribly expensive but anyway that is my haul from one garage sale this was all from one I've got some more stuff that I will put the video up tomorrow so you can stay tuned and watch that one now don't stay tuned stay tuned that that'd be like a long time to stay tuned but you can watch for the video yeah, to go up to and yeah you can go to sleep and and tomorrow sometime I'll put the video up but anyway it's I had fun today it was um, I felt like a little kid in a candy store when I find these kind of things because these sewing and stuff is what I just enjoy and it's always fun to find like a hodgepodge of sewing stuff and figure out what you can do with them but anyway I will oh wait just a minute we have something in this what? um let me see what this is okay we have oh my goodness it sounds like buttons more buttons so that's cool and it's in a like it looks like a vintage can that's cute you know if you would with decorating your craft or sewing room you could put these th kind of things up on the wall on shelves they not only have decoration but they can also be storage but anyway I will let you all go have a good evening and I will talk to you all tomorrow and please be sure to give me a thumbs up thank you for watching and if you haven't yet please consider subscribing to my channel um, I really want my channel to grow and get bigger all right well you guys take care and I will see you tomorrow bye